Hey guys, I'm Jordy, and a friend of mine, Ragged, and I have been hard at work tuning an assignment sheet that you and your raids can use for Ice Crown Citadel, one of the most complicated and difficult raids we face to date. And we want to give it to you. Below is a link that should automatically make a copy for you to use, and in the rest of this video, I'm going to go over what's in it, how to use it, and some extra features that could be helpful. Okay, so here's the sheet. Step one is going into the roster tab and deleting all of these sample names and classes and inputting your own raid. If you've got a 30 to 40 person roster you draw from, you can fill these all out and then use these checkboxes to confirm their slotting for that week, as well as the availability on the right for you to use if you need it. Once all that's done, we go back to the intro page and proceed to this box, the raid rolls. From here, we input who we want our main tank to be, our off tank, who the Lady Death Whisper third tank should be, and if you use a ranged tank like on Council, who you're assigning to that. Then the healers starting with the Paladins on tank healing, then a Resto Shaman and a Disc and your Resto Druid. The final box is for whoever you want to flex up to heal, let's do the Shadow Priest in this example. From here, we move through each boss tab and confirm our assignments look good. Marigar should be good out of the box, showing DSAC assignments, healing assignments, and soul stones. Lady Deathwhisper is a bit more involved. Tank assignments are up here, and then phase two positioning assignments. Each name is associated with a section on the map where you want to spread out. Following this, Frostbolt, Interrupt Rotations, Decurse Assignments, and Interrupts for the Adds. We've also got DSAC and AM rotations here on the right, which can be super helpful. Following that, Gunship Assignments. This one's easy, who's in the cannons, blah blah blah. Now Sourfang is a bit more complicated. There are lots of little things that need to be managed. Flesh Beasts are assigned on the right here, with the associated Flesh Beast denoted on the map. Then ranged and healer positioning assignments linked below, and Blood Boil and AM Devo assignments here to help get those cooldowns rolling. Finally on the right we have Mark of the Fallen Champion assignments and DI assignments, should you want to use them. These dropdowns let you adjust who's healing, what mark, and if you want to change them. On to Fester Gut, we've got healer positioning assignments and raid cooldowns for the spores, not too bad. Same with Rotface, a positioning map to help you sort that out, as well as assignments listed, and then unstable ooze explosion assignments should you want to use those. Now, Pugercide. This one needs a lot of little things and it should all be listed here. Volatile Ooze Eruption, DSAC Assignments, Mutated Plague Raid Cooldowns for Phase 3, as well as who is soaking which stack as the phase goes on. We've also got Unbound Plague Soulstone Assignments on the right should you go that route, but of course not required. Now onto Blood Prince Council, Empowered Shock Vortex DSAC Assignments, Empowered Flame AM Fire Assignments, and then where each person is placed when Valinar is empowered for that Shock Vortex Pulse. Super handy. Now we've got Blood Queen, which has positioning as well as a bite order. You can set who you prefer your order to be and then dump this text into your weak aura to push it in that direction, or just not use it at all and you'll be fine, whichever you prefer. Valithria has tank and heal assignments, but this one's not too complicated, just split up and you'll be fine. And Sindragosa, for your ice tombs, you're going to want to use cooldowns as they land and then cooldowns plan for phase 3, all listed here for easy reference. Finally, the Lich King. Now this one you probably won't be using for a while, but it is here once you get there. There are lots and lots of important things on here. I won't get into too much detail, but we really went all out for this one and I think you'll find it's got everything you need covered. There are Valk stuns, infest cooldowns, soul reapers, all of it. Once you've gone through all of it, you can direct your raiders to look at the quick assigns tab. It should be pretty handy should you want to just tab through the important stuff. And for your Warlocks, a simple soul stone assignment page so they know where those stones are going boss by boss for easy reference. Okay, well that's it. Let me know in the comments if you're going to use this. I can't promise that we'll keep updating it as time goes on, but we will do our best. So check back every so often using the main link and see if anything's been updated. And if you found this super helpful, do me a huge favor and hit that like and subscribe button. It really does help me a bunch and I super appreciate it. We posted this weeks early on Patreon, and I will continue to post strategies and tips to help you fine-tune your raid on there, so check it out and support me there if you're looking for that. And a huge thanks to everyone who supported me thus far. Thank you guys. All right, well, that's it for me. See you guys in the next one.